There's been some new polling that just came out from ABC that has totally shaken up the race. People are not going to like it who are trying to get Biden to get pushed out. As you know, so many people are invested, especially people in the media and political figures and pundits are invested in making sure that Biden drops from the race. They've been going off on him and not really allowing him to have any wins, regardless of what he does, to try to change the fact that he had one bad debate two weeks ago. Watch this. When the president sat down with George Stephanopoulos to prove once and for all how cogent he is and to film a bronzer ad. <laughs> Orange man good? <laughs> None of this was reassuring. And we're told that the threat of Trump is so great and the stakes are so high that even bringing up these absolutely legitimate concerns about the president's ability to do the most vigorous job in the world for the next four years is enabling fascism. Literally no one is saying that. I mean, I do think that this circling firing squad is only helping Trump. And Biden has repeatedly said, said he is staying in the race. And so when we are constantly telling him to drop out and saying that his, he is weak, the thing is, is that thoughts become things. And the more we say it, the more true it becomes because the more the general public begins to believe that Biden is a weak candidate. But the polling I'm going to show you is about to shake that all up and is going to totally refute that. I want to show you a few more clips of the media just totally losing control of themselves and the narrative. Watch this. You also, Carol, matched some reporting yesterday from the New York Times suggested the Biden campaign was quietly looking at head-to-head -head matchups with Kamala Harris, the vice president of the United mm -hmm. States, against Donald Trump. What more can you tell us about that? Well, this is the first time that they've done this sort of polling, and it obviously comes at a precarious time. Uh, the timing is pr is pretty interesting. Now, what officials are saying is that this is um, they're doing this because the former President Trump has started to attack the vice president. That it's based on that, but. Putting the vice president up against the former president in a hypothetical head-to-head -head matchup is a is a significant thing, and whatever that data shows, if you if you draw the line back to what President Biden said last night in his press conference, where he said, you know, if he, he was asked if he was shown data that showed his vice president could beat former President Trump, you know, would he reconsider? And he, you know, he said he would look at data and that if, if he was told that he couldn't win, then maybe he would consider dropping out. Okay, going to do some media literacy here because this is a story based on an anonymous source. So we don't know if it's true or not. Let's assume it is. And the only thing we know is that the Biden campaign is polling Kamala Harris against Trump. We don't know why they're doing it. We don't know if it's even true. But what the media then does is starts to hypothesize why the Biden campaign would be doing that. And that, to me, is not news. That's gossip. So much of what we've been seeing from the media is they're not reporting on the news. They're reporting on gossip. And they're trying to affect the narrative so that they can have an impact on this race. One more example. We have more post-debate polls rolling in. According to the latest one from The Washington Post and ABC News, more than half of Democratic voters, 56 percent, say that Joe Biden should drop out of the race. Now, why would Democratic voters want the president to drop out? Could it possibly be because so much of the media has been talking about the fact that the president should drop out? Like I said, if you say something enough, it becomes true. That is literally Trump's manifesto. He has manifested much of his reality because he lies enough that eventually the lie becomes what his followers believe and it becomes so ingrained into his campaign and who he is that the media doesn't even pretend to care about the things he says or what he does because they say, well, you know, his followers don't care, so why should we? But the media on our side attacks us repeatedly and over some over one day, over one bad night, and it's become a two week news cycle. So of course this is going to be the be this, of course this is going to be the result of uh, truly non-stop coverage about one night when Biden has done 
everything he can to try to quell fears that he's not up for the job. He's sat through interviews. He's done rallies. He's talked to leaders off the record, on the record. He's done everything. And it's not enough for the media. And But, but to the media's great disappointment, it's also not changing the polls. Who is favored to win the 2024 presidential election? Well, if you want to trust 538, and I believe 538 uh, is one of the best aggregators of polls uh, in the country, they currently believe, based on all the po polling, what they do is they, they gather all the polls, they aggregate them, and they create a model that through those polls and how they've predicted the past, they can somehow predict the future. They come out with a probability of who's going to win. And right now, it's a coin flip with Trump, or sorry, with Biden leading 50 times out of 49 times. So, and there's, <laughs> and then out of a thousand simulations, there's a couple of times where no one wins. So there could be, a, there could be an election where no one wins. That would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? So, uh, so much to the media's chagrin, polling is now showing, and there's been many more polls that have come out that have shown either Biden in the lead or Biden barely behind. So this election was always going to be close. It still is close. And despite the media's best efforts, Biden is currently in the lead. So I just think we should really do what we can to stay close to sources like Occupy Democrats, um, other, other independent media sources, because what the media wants to do is make you feel enraged and scared. Because if you're enraged and scared, you watch and you click. And if you watch and you click, that means that they're making money off of ad revenue. And so don't give them the opportunity. They are not, like I, like I showed you, they're not reporting the news anymore. They are reporting opinion through the veil of small amounts of information. And so it's, it's not sustainable what they're doing. And Joe Biden will be the nominee. And uh, all of this will be for nothing. And in my opinion, we would have been much stronger if the media would have just focused on the many convictions of, or the many problems of Donald Trump and the grave threat he is to our democracy. They don't do it because they don't think it matters. And I think we all fight for the same swing voters. So it doesn't matter that his base doesn't care. What matters is that the swing voters are paying attention. And the fact that the reporters are not focusing on the things that are problematic with Trump and instead for the past two weeks have gone absolutely nuts over one debate with Biden is such a failure. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen in November. I really hope we win. I hope this poll is true. But if Biden doesn't pull it out, the media is going to have a lot to answer for why they focused on this and not everything wrong with Trump. I mean, it feels really like Hillary's emails all over again times a thousand. Thanks for watching. My name is Keith Edwards. This is the Occupy Democrats channel. For more of Occupy Democrats, hit a like and subscribe. For more of me, you can get a link to my channel in the description. Thanks so much.